Don't move to Lafayette, Louisiana, or should you? This is Jordan Josh, your Lafayette, Louisiana real estate agent, here to bring you a cons list, the top three biggest cons directly from Lafayette, Louisiana residents on why they think you shouldn't move here. Number three, the rain and humidity. Yes, we're in the South, we're near the Gulf. It can be very humid or heavy. Sometimes you walk outside and it hits you, which brings mosquitoes as well, the moisture, soggy. Sometimes your yard is wet and just can't dry. We do get some very rainy seasons. We go through hurricane seasons quite often. And yes, it does rain quite a bit at some times in the year. If you could get past that though, some days like today, we have beautiful weather where when we have nice spring, fall days, or even right now it's the winter, but it's like a nice spring day outside. So I prefer a hot climate as compared to a cold climate. Yes, it does get rainy and very humid here, but I personally like it. If that's something you could get past, maybe Lafayette is still a great option for you. Number two, <laughs> this was another common trend in some of the answers I got back about cons of living here. And I do agree, there's a lack of nature, a lack of hiking trails, a lack of things to do as far as if you're going to see some scenery, some outdoor activity. Obviously, there's tons of stuff to do outside here, but we flat. There's no mountains, there's no hills. There's some hiking trails and things to do, but it's just kind of through the woods. You're not gonna see like a, an Arkansas or some of these states a little bit north of us that you can hike, you can climb mountains, you can go biking. There's not as many of those things to do here. Somebody likes being outside, I would like more of that. We live on some property, so I like to be outside all the time. So I like to find stuff to do. There's things like Moncus Park, where they just did a, a big renovation there, where walk on a little trail, walk on the sidewalk, go up the man-made hill, be near the water. There's tons of outdoor sportsman-like activities to do, but for someone that likes to hike, camp, trail run, climb mountains, those type of things, we are lacking just due to the flat nature of where we're at down south here. So lastly, the biggest con on the list. Number one, by far the most used answer as far as cons to living in Lafayette, Louisiana was the traffic. Ambassador Caffrey, Johnson Street, Barrel School Road, Collie Saloon, some of the main intersections, West Congress, some of the main roads in Lafayette can get pretty congested at times. The throughway can get congested. Some of the roads, people were saying, oh, the, the way the roads are, the road construction slows things down, or the potholes, or things like that. I do agree that is a big con to me. I personally live in the country, so I'm on the outskirts, so I like back roads. I don't like traffic at all. But when you look at our traffic, I think personally, our traffic is not actually that bad. I will take our city traffic compared to traffic like a Houston, Texas, bigger cities where highway onto freeway, onto interstate, onto freeway, onto highway, and you're turning and looping and there's exit to exit. I personally like our traffic better. Yes, you do get in some standstill traffic during the holidays and during peak hours, but personally, I much prefer driving here. I, I feel it's safer, I guess, because I'm born and raised here, so I'm used to this style of driving to where when I go out of state or to some of these bigger cities, Baton Rouge even, which is a big city near us in Lafayette. I don't like driving on that at all. So in the Acadiana area, which Lafayette is the main hub, I think yes, the traffic can be considered a con, but also I consider it a pro because it ain't too bad. So those are the top three cons coming from Lafayette, Louisiana residents on why they think maybe you shouldn't move here. I personally love Lafayette. I love Acadiana. I think you should move here. I think you should call me, join Josh, and use me as your real estate agent. Do you agree or disagree with the cons of Lafayette, Louisiana? Drop it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Thank you all for tuning in, and I'll see you all in the next video.